To inspect or replace the drive belt on your Sportsman 570, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat, level surface. Ensure the vehicle is in park and set the parking brake. Begin by lifting up on the rear of the seat and pulling back to remove. Then, remove the two plastic rivets securing the left side panel. Grasp the rear of the side panel and pull back to disengage it from the retainers and remove from the vehicle. Next, remove the push rivet on the PVT access panel and unlatch the two latches to remove. Then, remove the four lower fasteners and nuts on the footwell. Also remove the two upper fasteners securing the footwell to the fenders. Then, remove the two push rivets on the front of the footwell. Pivot the footwell away from the body panels to disengage the tabs and remove from the vehicle. Next, remove the PVT inlet duct and loosen the outlet duct clamp. Continue by removing the eight clutch cover fasteners. Pivot the clutch cover around the fender and out of the vehicle. Inspect the cover seal and replace if necessary. Next, remove the driven clutch cover fasteners and remove the cover from the vehicle. Before removing, take note of the drive belt direction of rotation. The belt must be installed in the same direction if reusing. Install the clutch spreader tool from your toolkit into the driven clutch and turn clockwise to spread the sheaves. Carefully walk the belt off the driven clutch and remove from the drive clutch. Inspect the belt for any fraying, hourglassing, loose cords, missing cogs, abrasions, burns, or damage, and replace if needed. Before installing, clean out the inside of the clutch covers thoroughly. If replacing the belt, the part number on the belt should face outward when installed. Loop the belt over the drive clutch and begin to walk it over the driven clutch sheave. Once the belt is installed, turn the clutch spreader tool counterclockwise to remove from the driven clutch. Spin the driven clutch five to seven times to help seat the belt. Next, reinstall the driven clutch cover and fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. Then, carefully reinstall the clutch cover, pivoting around the fender as needed and ensuring the cover seal is fully seated. Install the eight cover fasteners and torque to specification. Then, install the PVT inlet and outlet ducts and torque the clamps to specification. Next, carefully maneuver the left footwell onto the vehicle and align the fenders onto the tabs of the footwell. Then, reinstall the two footwell push rivets. Install and tighten the two upper footwell fasteners until fully seated. Then tighten the four lower fasteners and torque to specification. Next, reinstall the PVT axis cover. Install the push rivet and secure the two latches. Then, reinstall the left side panel, ensuring the tabs are aligned, and reinstall the two push rivets. Finally, reinstall the seat and align the front tabs. Push firmly on the rear of the seat to engage the grommet. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.